Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Disney 100 set review. Today we are looking at set number 43215. This is the Enchanted Treehouse set. It is going to be retailing for $159.99 USD or $209.99 Canadian. The price per piece for this is 15 cents, so that's, that's above average. However, you're getting 13 mini dolls in this set all of them obviously it's not like a friend set that has that many mini dolls it's all licensed disney characters and a couple of them have never been in uh, mini doll form before and this set by the way will be releasing on june the 1st everywhere but north america i'm not sure it just says coming soon i thought it was gonna be june 1st but there might be some delays with this set for us here in north america so it looks like it could probably just pop up anytime in June, maybe July 1st now, August 1st, not too sure. So let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. So here is the main part of the treehouse, and uh, I think that just the whole color scheme of this set, it reminds me a lot of something from Elves, uh, honestly, and I think that's something that sentiment is shared with a lot of other people. And I, I just think that the design of this, it's interesting. I don't think that it, it gives off necessarily to me personally Disney vibes. I think maybe the closest thing would be like from Frozen 2, the Enchanted Forest and all that. Um, but let's go through this thing. Over here on the left side, you could see you're, you're going to see these incredible pieces all throughout this here. This is the new leaf piece introduced from the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set. But it's in this gorgeous little like pearlescent pink and i think that looks so great you've also got the crystal pieces there in uh like a, a purple as well that looks so cool there's these mushrooms again also scattered throughout this whole set that have these little prints on them these little silver uh little spots i think that's neat you've also got uh, a bunch of like light blue leaves and some coral top flowers there over here we've got this nice little cozy campfire with two little logs seats for them to sit on i cannot for the life of me get her to sit without falling over this is really there we go just got to sort of have her sitting off to the side of the log not fully on it so that it's balanced out but yeah she's roasting some marshmallows over the fire and uh that's cute little build there you could put another mini doll there if you wanted to also coming here to the back you've got uh, these stickers of like bark for the enchanted tree you've also got i like the the roundness there those pieces being used you got another mushroom some more of the different plants uh, the you've got some little crystals on that archway i think that's pretty cool also the way that they have uh you going up the stairs is it even possible for a mini doll to technically fit there that's uh that's pretty close that's actually she's she's literally touching the top there of the doorway so not sure about that. You do have a sticker down below there on the rock. Across the way there, you've got this target for Mulan to practice her bow skills there. And uh, you've got some more uh, stickers on the side. That's a sticker, by the way, as well. Some more mushrooms, the crystals, some more leaves. And then over here, you've got this wall. The rock climbing wall, you could sort of attach their hands there to the different spots for you to climb on up this. You've got the rock piece there and that gorgeous little purple pearl color making our way through the entrance though again you could see the pillars and how they've done that on the other side i think that's cool you've got an hourglass underneath there maybe that's a reference to aladdin and speaking of references to aladdin you've got the genie lamp there on the uh, bookshelf as well as a a little cup maybe a reference to chip from beauty and the beast up above we've got a portrait there of neverland got a shell from uh, the little mermaid and uh, yeah a bunch of different uh, books and different sewing kits and stuff like that that little seat there you've got a spot for you to actually have the mini dolls even if they've got a dress actually lying down there and reading a book this is probably my least favorite thing in the entire uh set because it's just so random like this could have been a cool reference to one of the princesses instead it's a juice bar for some reason i I'm struggling to find the connection with one of the characters included in the set or any other Disney princess. Uh, let me know if you can think of something. 
You've got this clip there, and uh, this was an accessory for Tiana, but they have you actually put it here, I saw, on the product images, so you could put the lantern there. We're now on the second floor, and this is one of the uh, first branches here that you're going to see, and it's got really cool, the use of like the little Olaf piece there, but it matches, and it looks like the actual branch is coming out of the top. I like that a lot. Anyways, over here, you've got this little spot to look out on, and you could take one of the mini dolls there and stand them on that, and you can turn the gears to have them looking out and pretend that they're looking through the binoculars there at uh, different things in the forest. You've also got some more crystals. Here we've got this little practice dummy, which will come into play in the next section, but you can easily remove that and detach that. Again, probably could have been a room for something else, I think. Boring Tiana, you could actually put anyone else here onto the balcony and have them looking out. You've got two more of the crystals there, and uh, the balcony is quite big. And this is what it looks like here from uh, the outside for the second floor. Here's the third floor, and it's actually very easy to detach. I'm not sure why they made it sort of modular like that, but you can't really put this anywhere else, I guess, besides like on the floor if you wanted to. But uh, I really like the different branches and the different uh, ways that you can angle everything here and just sort of make the tree how you want. I think all of the colors and everything work really, really well. Again, those little branches sticking out I think is great. You've got the, these smaller ones there as well. Also here, we've got the ice pieces from Mario from the January wave in that purple pearl color that looks so so cool the sparkles and everything you've got this piece up there as well that looks great for like the archway of the door and then also you can see it goes transparent purple blue and then light blue there for uh, the top of the treehouse you can see just how deep the balcony actually goes there from the inside as well as you've got uh, again all those decorations from the archway from before uh, on the left here you've got this little to-do list i guess they're looking for treasure or something, I'm not too sure. You've got a picture there of Raya and Mulan, and uh, they've got a map. You've also got a rose that looks very similar to uh, the Beauty and the Beast rose, and a snowflake for Elsa, I'm going to assume, as well as the flower there. That could be a reference to Tangled, or even uh, uh, Princess and the Frog. You've got a little cushion there and a bunch of pillows for them to sit down on. Reminds me of uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, there you've got a bunch of like crystals and I think I'm gonna assume the little potion there in the back is probably a reference to Alice in Wonderland with the drink me and uh, you've got this little flower as well as this little geode there and if you've seen the live action Little Mermaid that actually I feel like is quite poignant and, and important to have here. You've got uh, this little one by two page of herbology from Harry Potter for some reason as well as a pair of scissors in the bottom drawer for, I guess, arts and crafts. Now here's where things get interesting. You can attach this piece here. Really long, bendy piece. So you attach it up to that spot where you just saw, and I'll show you it over here on the other side. And then what you do is you take this little branch right off. And then you attach it to one of the mini dolls, and you pretend that uh, they sort of slide on down a zip line to the second section. Anyways, removing the giant wire and tube thing here, uh, you can see the build. And I like this section. I don't think that the shaping of this part is the most interesting, but the rest, the bottom part, is quite cool, I think. And uh, I guess we'll start and just show you what you could do. So I guess the idea is that they come sliding on through this part here, and then they can also take this slide on down, or they can walk down the steps. But... So over here, we've got a couple more little mushrooms. That one actually doesn't have any printing of the silver or anything on that, as well as a bunch of the crystals and everything. And then here, we've got a play feature where you can spin this section. And you could put the dummy on there. And there's such limited posing on mini dolls. Like, I, I'm not understanding why I can't turn it backwards. Um, that's very stupid. But anyways, I've put the dummy there and now Raya. So you could have them sort of training and uh, I guess the, the training dummy won there. But the other thing that it shows that you could do is you take one of the characters and you put them on the center and you have them just sort of dancing. And uh, that's accomplished by spinning it around here. We've got uh, this little gear that you turn to have them dancing or fighting. 
Back over here, I just want to show you the uh, waterfall section. I think that looks great with that sticker. We've got a bunch of different rocks there on the water, some that's sand blue and then lavender. And you can lift up the waterfall to get access to the inside of the cave. I really like those crystal pieces there. So here's the inside of the cave. Nothing too special going on. You've got a little hole there on the side. And uh, yeah, that's about it on the inside. You've got uh, a, a treasure map and you can actually remove it there from the, the spot and pour out the treasure map. And then you've got uh, this chest that you can put other things in. Back up here to the front, uh, the branches and everything. This one's a little different there with a butterfly on it. But making our way up those stairs, which are all one piece, that's, that's one giant piece starting there all the way up. Um, you've got this little uh, gazebo, I guess. I don't really know. It's not too interesting. It's got that same ice piece from Mario up at the top. You can see the slide there and uh, spinning it around just to show you. Um, this is the back section here. And again, that little clip, uh, that's where you put the branch that they take the zip line down with and you can attach it there. Also, that's the same little attachment there for the uh, two piece that you saw from the other part of the treehouse. Also included is this canoe boat, which is a really cool piece here. And you can have them actually holding on to the sides and also sitting there um, in the seats. And we've got Pocahontas leading the way with her compass. And then Moana is uh, steering it with her oar that's included. So yeah, that's, that's what uh, the inside looks like. Here is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. And we're actually going to go in order of each of the different films that they're from. So this is the first one up here. And she's never had a mini doll before. This is the very first time. And uh, it's quite interesting because she's got the same hair and little bow piece there that uh, the minifigure series had from 2016 from the minifigure. So I'm not sure if that means that she might be appearing in a minifigure set or something, but uh, the torso printing there, she's got some back printing and uh, the dress looks great. Her accessory is a magnifying glass. Here is Wendy Darling from Peter Pan, and she also is getting a mini doll here for the first time. Technically, she had a micro doll, um, but that was from the uh, live action film from this year, not uh, the animated classic. But yeah, she looks great here. She's got a brand new hairpiece, which I really love that a lot. The color here that appears so... I really am liking this this color that appeared so much in the set. But uh, yeah, this new hairpiece can have a bow in the back. Looks really great. Here is Tinkerbell, also from Peter Pan, obviously, and her own set of films. But more importantly, I think probably... The intro to so many Disney films with uh, sprinkling the pixie dust, which wish she had uh, a little wand here. But the wings look great. Very, very cool. They're little foil pieces that actually attach at the hips there. And the hair piece used here is, of course, the same from the minifigures. But uh, just to show you here. Attach it from the hips and you can see the back torso printing there. Next up here, we've got Jasmine from Aladdin and she's got a loot as an accessory there. Also the hair piece here. It's not new for her there with the earrings and everything, but uh, she looks great. Of course, she's been a mini doll before, so it's not as interesting, obviously, as some of the others, but I've never had one. The hair piece is so rubbery. It was uh, really gripping onto the top there. But uh, anyways, you can see the printing there it does not line up look at that on the side i don't know any you know much about mini dolls but uh, that does not look too good i don't know if that's a common issue or not and here is pocahontas and she's using the new hair piece that was introduced in the minifigure series 100 for her uh, she was supposed to be a uh, mini doll a long time ago but it just never happened she appeared in a couple of promo images and with the rest of the princesses but cool to have some arm printing there and again you can see the side printing just doesn't line up well and uh yeah she looks great i, I really like that removing the hair piece from the cmf series you can see the back torso printing with the necklace and everything that looks really cool also her accessory is uh this compass Here's Mulan, and she's got uh, her Disney princess outfit here. She's got a bow and arrow as her accessory, as well as the hairpiece from past mini doll sets. Removing it there, you can see the back torso printing there. Nothing going on, none of the detail from the front. 
Here is Princess Tiana, and her dress printing looks so similar to the minifigure one and everything there in the design for that. But uh, anyways, she's got uh, her hairpiece. Speaking of that minifigure, it's cool to see. Also, she's using the new skin color, which is awesome, more accurate to her there. And uh, you don't have to remove the hairpiece because it's not covering up any of the uh, back there. Next up here, we've got Anna from Frozen. Technically, this is her outfit from Frozen 2, but it still looks pretty cool here. I love the, she's got feet printing there. That's pretty neat. I'm learning so much about mini dolls in this video. Um, but yeah, love the design for her and the outfit and everything that she's got going on. She's got a cape piece here that's double-sided and spinning it around. She doesn't have any back torso printing, I guess, because of the cape and uh, her accessory we talked about earlier. Here is Elsa, and she's got a really cool outfit here too. Again, a cape piece there, and the hair piece, that's from Mini Dolls, not from the Disney series too. She's got a little bit of like her um, ice magic there, and the torso printing and everything looks pretty detailed on the back of the torso. You can see she's got a, a little bit of printing there. Here is Moana, and you could get this figure, I believe, in a poly bag right now, but still really detailed. Love the dress printing as well as the torso printing, the hair and everything there as well as uh, you could see she's got a very detailed back torso that continues on from the front. And here is Raya from Raya and the Last Dragon. She also came in a poly bag, but uh, anyways, still great to get her here. I never opened up my poly bag that I grabbed of her, but anyways, the torso looks great. And uh, the face that she's got, she's got a smile and removing the hair and hat that just fell off. That's all individual divots. Those aren't prints. That's pretty cool. Love the back texture there, the scales and everything. Wow, that's very, very detailed. And Look at the side, it's not too bad. Here is Mirabelle from Encanto and she's got an accordion there. That's a cool build. It's got uh, one sticker there on the front and one there on the side. But uh, removing that there, you could see, I guess that piece is gonna stay with her. Anyways, the dress printing, it's so detailed. Look at that there and the uh, top there, the torso looks great. Um, she's got some back torso printing there as well. Well, there you have it everyone that is my enchanted forest review i don't know if i've ever looked at a mini doll set fully on the channel before this might have been a first we've talked about them but never reviewed one and i have learned a lot about mini dolls today and just this year like i actually never realized that uh, you can't turn their hands which limits a lot of things like they can't really row the canoe and and hold certain objects certain ways and even the side printing and just noticing how they print some of the torsos it's just like it just makes me really not like mini dolls even more like i really think minifigures are so much better it's just it's not a set for me i'm glad i have all the mini dolls i was gonna get this anyways to get all of the mini doll versions and hopefully they release a set with the rest of the princesses that we don't have here i think that would be really really great to see but anyways be sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future lego disney 100 set news and reviews just like this one hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you all have a great day we'll see you all in the next one